So the idea of Tani Ora isn't a new one. Uh, this brand, of course, is Tor, um, but this kaupapa goes back um, a few hundred years, actually. Uh, there's a guy named uh, Banks, and his first impressions at the time were that uh, uh, Māori, and in particular Māori men, were this really fit, vibrant and uh, handsome race. And uh, that, I guess, sort of set up a pretty good foundation for um, our understandings of good Māori health. Balancing the demands mean that you don't really have to be a super athlete to be healthy. You don't really have to be a uh, great speaker on the pie to be healthy. You don't really have to have a lot of friends on Facebook to be healthy. It's how do you balance all of those things so that men can take their place as leaders in society. Tour is a 14 week health program uh, focusing on empowering Tane to manage their own wellness. It is balanced across the four key pillars that make up good Māori health, otherwise known as Tafari Tapafa. Boys meet together once a week for a couple of hours. During the group sessions, they focus on whakapapa and identity. There are two hikoi that we uh, embark on as a ropu, as a team. Chikanga Māori, Maurako, understanding brain and behaviour, traditional parenting, and nutrition and cooking. Um, yeah, I guess I hold a for, for myself and um, the other boys in, in our uh, job or what we do is, is really important. Um, not just on the outside, the physical um, well-being, but what goes on inside as well. And for me, um, we are fucker papa back to, and my identity um, is pretty important for, for my success or, or my progress through through my journey. So, um, mum's side, Ngāti Parau East Coast, um, up. Tiki Tiki, uh, that's the Milner side, and on the Scudder side, uh, Tapuika, as well as um, a bit of Tongan in there as well for, for a bit of flavour. So I'm um, proud of where I come from, and um, yeah, it's pretty easy when you've got an awesome whānau that, that back you up and are always there supporting. So, yeah. now I see fire. <laughs> ah, Tene Toku Murai. Te taha o tōku whaea, nei, Ngāti Kauwhata. Kauwhata, e uri, whenaki a hau nei, o tō waka o tai nei, te kai hau tū hoturua. Kei roti i te o tātou tūpuna, a mēraka, a hoturua. Te pau tōku manawa, e whare, kei runga raka, ko ia, ko hoturua. No, I just like coming there with all, being amongst everybody, eh? being amongst all the young fellas. Yeah. And seeing other fellas that, like I used to be big and once, you know, big ass, and uh, hopefully helping them in ways, you know, helping them. Well, uh, ko Taylor Cody to Kungwa, ko Manawa to Te Awa, ko Ngati Rokawa to Iwi. To be honest, getting my life back on track, I hit a, f a um, few rough patches in my life. There, um, the drinking was the heaviest, but that I haven't touched alcohol for two months now, so it's been my body's been feeling good. Quit smoking, so been off that for two months as well. So, a lot of lot of changes. It's been good. Yep, uh, my name is Jason Katu. I'm from uh, Tikwiri, Waniapoto, Tainui. Oh, again, this is about Māori men opening up. Um, I guess we're like just this little box closed up all the time, and we need to start talking a bit more. Um, people need to hear our voices as well. Uh, kia ora, uh, ko āta te pne tuku ingoa, uh, ko nā pui ahau. Yeah, when they say, when I say Māori health, I say, but it, there's other things involved. You know, I say we do haka and taiaha and all this. And yeah, they're quite blown away at what we actually do. 
yeah, you know, and not only that, it's the eating side of things, uh, food, you know, those sort of things, and well-being, um, whānau, your, your own whānau, you know, being involved. Well, now it's been a while since last we go to or collaborate about old times and those things that we thought of. Or laugh about our moms, wooden spoons, and us Coco Brown boys. Funny art just to recollect to reminisce back then when we were kids. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, just before Christmas, so mm. I think they kind of put me in in a lull, kind of a, a, a home. I tried to make what I had not excuse to to stay home, you know, just to hide in that home. Yeah, and and it's just through the encouragement of the other, um, you know, fellas in in our in our rōpū, you know, that pushed me, that helped me, and. Um, yeah, so just make me feel a bit stronger. Keep connection tight like family, so now bro, I'll be there for you your whole time and I'll keep it true. In those times of need I'm there indeed, brother say you don't even have to speak. it's not so part much participating, I think it's for me it's been there. You know, and and I'm part of this group. You know, so for me if I'm if I'm committed to something, then I want to be there. Even though you know I'm going to drag my myself there, and you know I just want to be present. Because yeah, I, I like this program. Mm. I suppose being able to go and um, to use the gym ATP during the week, and with with my son, you know, we go to try and do box fit together. Yeah, and it's, um, for me that was, um, you know, that, that, that was a father and son time, you know, spent together. It's, it's blown me away actually, of um, the things that we're getting to do, how we interact on Facebook, how everybody's trying to, um, encourage others to do you know better or the challenges and yeah i think there's a lot of whānau within the group you know and and that's good because it pushes you to try and do your your own challenge Growth. So um, physically, he's uh, more awareness of himself and his limitations. Mentally, like I said, he's open, and, and you know he's starting to open, and it just that's been the most powerful growth because uh, for the healing to happen, it's got to come inside out. For real, so I'll be there for you your whole time and I'll keep it true. Your end of times and need, I'm there indeed. So let's see, you don't even have to speak. Saturday night, I was stuck at home deciding not to go out. Got a text, come out, come out. Oh, yes, sweet as. So I decided to uh, get, my, get my gear together and go out. Ended up at a party and um, the party ended up in town and good night in town. Bit of arguments and then, um, yeah, kicked from there and. Ended up in the hospital, concussion, um, got flown to Wellington Hospital, was down there for about a week, maybe two, and been rehabbing Porirua. So that sort of pushed it downhill. I missed two or, two or three sessions of tour, um, but getting back into it, yeah, it's been good fun. Hey yo, hey yo, I came a long way since back in the day From a teenager trying to make it rap in this way Ever since I was a kid I had something to say Rockin' mics was a dream I didn't care about On our first session of tour we all had a photo together 
and um, I had one of those down in Wellington with me, you know, looking over the boys, boys looking over me. It's, yeah, it was motivation to get back. That was a hurdle, and overcoming that has been, yeah, joyous. I was down and now I was struggling. Wondered how I'm gonna make it through. I got a dream. I got a dream. Holding on. I'm gonna hold on. I can't let go because I gotta make it come true. The biggest hurdle was the first session. The fitness. <laughs> Doing the fitness test. Oh, just like going down to ATP with Pelly and his crew. Um, not knowing who they are and uh, getting in there here we are doing these squats and burpees and like bro <laughs> and then we're gonna do a beef test you said I would succeed and be anything I wanted to be I'm 23 and I just want to be me want to be free want to be everything I can be but I don't have many choices can afford to be wrong all I do is try to stay true to the words of my song just don't hesitate and wait too long cuz like a dream when you wake up and it's gone it's gone definitely confidence um, I wasn't confident when I first started this. If you would have asked me to do this before, I would have said no. Um, and then, yeah, I got asked to do this and said yes. So, definitely out of my comfort zone, but in a good way. Confidence, um, fitness, getting back, getting uh, motivated to get fit again. Um, non drinking, non smoking, it's been gonna be a good life so I went to sleep that night I dreamt to touch the sky and ever since I've been trying to keep my dream alive so when you see the scribe dropping the ill of rhyme defining how I'm living mine in this day and time I'm working nine to five I'm slaving over beats it's hard work living the dream I hardly ever sleep I'm in the rhythm deep y'all just trying to do my thing it's funny when you shine and people hate to see the gleam no matter what they say keep on doing what you do and don't give up because only you can make that dream come true it's like you know the, the, have you done go anyway have you done this challenge he said yes and said Oh, I haven't done it. Um, did you say? Did you hear what they said in the class? He said yes. So it's just um, that interaction, um, you know, and they were communicating instead of just talking to each other. They were actually communicating. I was down and now wondered how I got a dream. Came the time, about 10 years ago, I got a wake-up call from the nurse. You know, I was weighing in, in excess of 160 k's. And uh, she told me that the way I was back then, you'd only had about five years to, to sing. But uh, I think myself to go to the doctor. And I had some tests and all that done to me. And um, three weeks later, she called me back and gave me all the results for the tests. Do you want the bad news or the good news first? And I said, oh, there's the good news. And, and uh, she said to me, well, you can change it. You can change it. My two mukos were this inspiration and now it's been the inspiration for me. Ever since. Yeah, ever since. So I look at it and I look back now, what the doctor was telling me is that you might not see these two go to school. He told me straight up to my face, Vikirere Takungaka, you could drop dead right now. So I'm on 85 now. When I feel it down in town, it makes me want to scream and shout. Give me a lift up. Just getting back into the haka, man. It's been a long time since I've got into it. So I will really enjoy the uh, haka. Uh, the best part, probably the Kai Day with Jason up at uh, Yuko, learning about nutritional foods. And as a train driver, I'm sitting down mostly for my whole shift. And we like to eat, as you do. 
but um, just talking about some of the foods and the better way to cook food and prepare for yourself, like being a shift worker as well, yeah, it was quite good, yeah. To be honest, I'd be learning the haka. That's been good fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. The tour journey for Arthur, he's a very passionate man anyway, and like he said, he opened because he was such a close man. And um, for him, I feel, he was close to being Māori. Um, although he's Māori, he didn't know what that felt like. Um, and his father's very, he came from a father who was very, he was a connoisseur of being Māori. And I just wanted him to feel that. What does that feel like? Um, and for our boy, um, once we got, um, knew, we knew Arthur wasn't well, um, how many years have you got with your dad? So, you know, make it quality time if it's limited. I was on their boat, I was on their shoes, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to sign up or not. Um, I'd definitely say sign up, that's good fun. Uh, new brotherhood, you get um, the journey of uh, getting to know the brothers that you're doing the program with. Um, yeah, it's primo. Couldn't ask for anything better. Um, Pele and the boys, uh, Luke, uh, Bruce. Uh, thank you guys and to T and Ta. Um, thank you for everything and uh, yeah, just keep it up boys. Sweet. Yeah. Um, I have approached one person and uh, I told him about the program. I said you, you, it's for Māori male, you know, for the health and um, he's, he was all excited. You know, I got an um, application form for him to fill out. Yeah, so it's, and he's going for his his own journey, you know. So he's a big man. So I thought if I can help one person, he'll be the one I want to help. Mm.